Hey, what's up guys? Code Forge here. Welcome in the next video. Today I have a very quick guide for you. And it is about configuring Android virtual device, which is also known as AVD. So if you will create your very first project for the Android device, you probably would like to test it. We have two ways to do it. The first one is to upload our application to the real device. And the second approach, which we will use today, is to use Android Virtual Device Emulator. If we will try to run our application right now by clicking the play button, we'll receive the error in the bottom left that says no target device found. Next to the play button, we can read the same. In this drop down list, we have the information that no devices has been defined or selected. And now to define the device, we want to click it and select Open AVD Manager. And this tool allows us to configure virtual devices like smartphones, smartwatches, or TV to test our applications. After defining our first virtual device, instead of this landing page over here, we'll get the list of our devices. So let's create our first virtual device by clicking this Create Virtual Device button. Over here we can select hardware which will be emulated and in the first place we have to select the category, in our case it will be phone. And later on we can select from multiple devices with different parameters. We will leave it default so the category is phone and we want to select pixel 2. We want to click next. Over here we want to select a system image which will be installed on the emulator. And before we will do it we have to download it first. So let's download the latest version which is the Android 10 Plus. Here we have the terms and conditions, we want to accept it, select next and here we have to wait to download it and install it. It looks like it's finished, I had to wait a few minutes and now we can click finish. Now we want to select our system image, it is the first one on the list and we want to click next. Over here we can change the name of the virtual device, we'll leave it default. And also we can change the startup orientation, we will also leave it default, so it will be the portrait mode. And we can click finish. And as you can see, our device appeared on the list of Android Virtual Device Manager. So now we can close it. And also we can find our new device next to the play button over here. And now we can run our application by simply clicking the play button. After a few seconds the emulator should start up and open your application. And here it is. So we have defined our first Android virtual device. We have installed the system image on it and then we have started our application to test it out. This is all for today guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video, bye!